I picked up barrettes because she actually asked me yesterday if I would get her barrettes um, for her hair. And I was like, dude, anything is going in your stocking right now. Anything you ask for is just a stocking thing. I'm going to follow, I'm going to kind of spin off of Rachel from Data Joy's collab, which was what's in my stocking or what's in the stocking or what's in my kid's blank stocking or something like that. And what it was, was I watched all the videos, kind of got some ideas, what, what I possibly could have found at the Dollar Tree. Um, see what I always put, I have stuff that I always put in stockings anyway. Um, and then you saw the Black Friday video, I will leave it linked down below, and some of the stuff for my kids' stocking is in there. Of course, I forgot to bring it. We have, at my mom's house, which is like, I think, I'm trying to do the full flapper Christmas look thing here, glow chat and everything. At my mom's your house, phone is. it should be on the kitchen counter. Got it. At my mom's house, we have... These, I think, are called photo boxes. And we found that if you fill those up, they work great for a stocking this size. Now, these are handmade. My mom and I made these one year. And we have, like, personalized fabric on the back. The inside is just whatever plaid, you know, we happen to have. And then, um, so this actually turned out the best. And the Ada cloth here is I would uh, embroider names across, and I did all of my families, but I haven't done my families. If that makes sense. I've done my mom, my dad, all my siblings, but I haven't done mine, my husband's, or the two stockings that I made for our eldest two. The younger two haven't even gotten stockings yet. So, we'll kind of talk about that. Um, so, this is mine. I have to kind of show off. It's a great pattern. I think we might have made it up. But a simple patchwork. This one is... My daughters, you can tell I'm still trying to figure out the whole binding thing, how to make that work. And it kind of ended up tight along the top, but anyway, I got to critique it somehow. And then this is my son's. I kind of figured it out a little bit more, but still not quite there yet. And then we still haven't made them. I still have this Ziploc bag of Christmas strips and I just need to get it done. But I haven't because life is life. So we have one stocking like this. It was knitted, so of course I fell in love with it. And I found this one at Big Lots, I think. And it was so cute. And it kind of, it's more narrow than ours, but it kind of have this kind of has the same size. And I do like these size, and, and I'll show you why in a minute. But anyway, I'm talking so much about these stockings, but there's a reason. We tend to fill our stockings up pretty well. I don't have like a, okay, you always get one thing healthy, one thing this. I, I don't do that. Um, over the year, because of those photo boxes, anytime we find something or pick up something, we'll put them in those boxes as kind of a little trinket. Um, my daughter, I think, has some earrings. Um, my son, I think, has a pocket knife. And anyway, so on and so forth. <clears throat> And those just sit and accumulate all year. But, again, I watch those videos because I've kind of been in a runt and getting ideas. This is not going in a stocking. I just needed more hands. But I haven't unboxed anything. So I went to the Dollar Tree. I used all my points for Rite Aid to kind of fill my husband's stocking. So I think so far it's just the Dollar Tree and Rite Aid for my husband. Okay, sera, sera. Okay, so I'm literally just going to be pulling out and talking about what you might find. And maybe some of this I'll cut out. Um, these are not for the stocking. These are actually because it's performance week, which means my girls have rehearsal every single night during dinner time. And this is going to hold them over until they can get home. Junk food, it is. So we have that, and we have to make sure that my sister actually gets something to eat, too. We grabbed two boxes. Chicken broth, definitely going in a stocking. You know, every mom's is just really wanting chicken broth, right? No, I needed that for a meal as well. You never know what you're gonna find in these bags. This is a stocking stuffer. So I picked this up for the boy, boy number one. Remember I have three boys and two girls. If you're new to my channel, I have three boys and two girls. This is gonna get complicated. My daughter is 10, my son is nine, 
my boy is five, my daughter is four, and the baby is one and some odd months. So, anyway, this is for nine-year-old boy, five-year-old boy. They love those stupid things. This is for ten-year-old girl, or daughter, um, if I don't give that to her before performance week. Each of the girls have a detangler. Now, I'm not going to say I make my own. I've heard that you can use water and conditioner and make your own. That hasn't worked so well. I don't like these because they have dyes in them. And if your skin is so absorbent, red dyes probably should not be anywhere near my kids. They just shouldn't. And you know what? It will. It's kind of something special. So each of them have one. They need them. This must be for mom stocking. All right. This I found at the Dollar Tree. I thought it was gorgeous. It's like this wood background and then it says wild and free with all these little feathers and then it's got like this and then your wood. Um, I'll probably gift this to my own stocking because you know how much I love dump notebooks so I kind of like that. Okay, these are really cool. Um, Lindsay from Mama, Schmoo Mama Schmoo's Reviews um, found Legos at her Dollar Tree. Dang, I wish I had that great of a Dollar Tree. Actually, a lot of the Dollar Tree stuff that everybody else is finding, I couldn't find. Anyway, I did find these puzzles. Now, my kids do enjoy puzzles, and these were kind of landmarks, and I thought that would be really fun. So we have the Eiffel Tower, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, or Pisa. How's that pronounced? Uh, Big Ben, now for my Ben. He was called Little Big Ben as a baby because he was born at 9 pounds, 10 ounces. So we've always called him my little Big Ben. That's for him. And then the Washington Monument. So I'm thinking this will be for my son. He's very patriotic right now. Not stopping. Two packs of chapstick or lip balm. And I'm going to put one in each of the kids' stockings. They do need these. Um, I'm just more concerned about them eating it because my kids actually do eat the chapstick. <sighs> Um, I got this from my daughter. She is a, a writer. That's not the word I was thinking of. She has um, a couple pen pals she writes to, so I thought this would be really fun for her. And it's a dollar, and it's all her colors. Um, I picked up barrettes because she actually asked me yesterday if I would get her barrettes um, for her hair. And I was like, dude, anything is going in your stocking right now. Anything you ask for is just a stocking thing. Um, I did get a notebook for her as well, or for the four-year-old. I haven't decided. It's, oh, it says, start each day with a grateful heart. Really cute. <laughs> I picked this up for my older girl. She's getting at that uh, age, age, um, when she likes to uh, feel a little grown up about herself. So that'll be fun. Um, these bug buckets are so much fun. My kids actually will put pennies and other little things, not just bugs, so... I picked this up. It'll probably go in the five-year-old's um, stocking. That's kind of more his thing. Alrighty. Um, I gotta put cookies in here for our mailman. The girls got the things for their hair. Um, the 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 detangler, and I picked up this for my son, the um, nine-year-old. He's really been wanting to kind of style his hair, so I picked this up for him. But I know that the five-year the um, his brother is just going to really, he loves to follow in his brother's steps, footsteps. Um, but they're still at that age where they kind of like their own thing. So I thought, I'm kind of being mom devious here, I got the three-in-one men scent of shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And I'm going to put this in the five-year-old's thing, and I'm hoping that they'll end up sharing because they want a little bit of each. That would be nice if they voluntarily do that. We'll see. Who knows? Miracles happen. All right. I found these growing crystals. Now, we've seen them so many times in the store, and they're so expensive. Um, and I have no idea if these things will work. I don't know how they work. But I did find these little dollar store ones, so I'm going to put them in the stocking. Um, more mom stocking stuffer. Um... Always in stockings are toothbrushes. I did buy some Black Friday, but I picked up a couple more because those actually were opened almost immediately and used. Now, that doesn't mean I have to put them in here. It's just 
something I've always done, so I want to do it. Okay. All right. We're getting there. These large jumbo playing cards, they are H234, all that fun stuff, and they are this big. So there is um, cars, and there's Frozen, so that, of course, will be for the four- and five-year-old. I thought that the four-year-old might, might like this. This is the glow-in-the-dark Dory. All right. Now let's go to Rite Aid. So Rite Aid, I had um, points to redeem. So this was $3. This is a large, look how huge that is, a large pack of playing cards. And I think I'm going to put this in my son's stocking, the nine-year-old's. And this one is, oh, this, um, there's going to be one, the silver one I think is going to be for my daughter, and the red one will be for the four-year-old, no, the five-year-old boy, because the nine-year-old boy um, has a big old flashlight, and they like to use these at night to read with. So I got him that, and then the rest is for my husband's stocking. He's going to have a pair of wool socks, and that tends to take up a good chunk of the stocking, but wool socks, he just... Those are his favorites. He loves them. But the rest of it, I really do try to fill up with stuff just for him to take to work because he doesn't eat enough. Um, so we have there's a buy one, get one free trail mix. It was a, no, that was buy one, get one 50% off. This was a buy one, get one free of beef jerky. Gorilla glue. And I just needed some tags for my things. That was it and I'm going to share that with you. There is some more stuff in the stockings but again it's all at my mom's house so I can't share that with you but I thought I would have this little fun spinoff of what I'm putting in the kids stockings. Um, they always have mandarin oranges in there. I always have um, like the, the fruit gummies that I put in there that's a special treat um, and I might do like a full size candy bar this year. I don't know still trying to decide if I want to be a good mom or not. We'll see. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some ideas. And I will see you in my next video. Have a very Merry Christmas. And sorry about the sporadic videos right now. Life is crazy. Catch you later. Bye.